Hey guys, my name is Tatiana and welcome back. Today, we're gonna be discovering Steveston's Fisherman's Wharf in Richmond, DC. So while I have been to Steveston before, I've never actually taken the time to explore it because anytime that I have been here, it's um, at the capacity of work. So, you know, Steveston is a popular place for films to come and film, the most notable being Once Upon a Time. But also I have been here and worked on it. I think it was like some Power Rangers movie that we shot out here and we shot all over this little town. Of course, I'm working, so I don't have time to like really explore, get a feel for the town. So that's what I'm gonna do today. I've just parked up. I'm here on a Saturday, so driving downtown, you know, Steveston is so busy. There was no parking, and of course there's paid parking, but I was determined to find free parking, and I did. If you just drive far enough down, there's this like whole street that's like unlimited free parking. Like, I don't see any signs saying I can't park, and I don't see any signs saying um, it's a timed parking where everywhere else it's about a three three hour minimum and it's really strictly enforced here because this communities are really small but there's nothing on this street so something to expect when you come here is uh, parking is going to be hard so either get here early or if you just be willing to walk a little bit farther or pay so there you go I made my way to the harbor to explore the docks and hopefully find a bite to eat as I was starving, but not before stopping at the infamous Steveston Fisherman's Wharf. I've never been here. If you got a hankering for seafood, this is the place. Unfortunately, I don't like seafood, so nothing here seems appealing to me, but it's literally like a boat fish market. So they pull up to the dock with their boat and they sell whatever their catch is from their boat. It's so unique and I cannot believe I've never been here. All I can say is like this place, is packed. It's a hub. There is so much different type of seafood here. If I like seafood, I would absolutely come here to get it. You can tell it's such a popular spot and it's so unique with like the colorful tarps and stuff. It really adds to the element. The fact that it's like the boats are selling their product from their boat, you know, on the dock. It's just, I don't know. It's really cool. It's really fun. Again, from Vancouver, well, Vancouver Island, but lived here on and off for like seven years. I had no idea this was here. How sad, right? How sad. I still haven't found food, by the way. I just got so distracted on the work. So I'm gonna actually go find food in the town proper that isn't seafood. And um, yeah. It's funny to see those signs everywhere because if you uh, remember this video, it went completely viral and I'm sure everyone has seen it. Well, that happened here, believe it or not. So it makes sense that they sign, there are signs everywhere now. So I cannot stress enough how, how important it is to like get off the main drag. So two blocks down from the water, I knew I was gonna be able to find like a hole in the wall that's gonna be amazing. So I was able to find these five roads brewing and you wouldn't think that this is a even here but like that's why it's so important to get off the main road and really really explore because then you can find like little fun places like this so i got the panini i can't talk for too long because there's copyright music but um i'll let you know how it goes also you got me a beer this is gonna be so good i've been eating all day hey who's gonna be your delivery guy next thursday uh, yeah. It was, um, I mean, it was a delicious panini. I think it was a little bit expensive, but, but here in Steveston, I think everything's a little bit expensive. And also I made the mistake of having the expectation of like finding like a cool hole in the wall type restaurant when everything here is seafood. So 
if you like seafood, if you like seafood, this is the place to come for like niche seafood foods. But so that was my, that was my mistake, but I enjoyed it, I had a good time. And now I'm gonna go check out the back streets of Steveston. So we just did the wharf and along the water and then a block over is, um, you know, a little bit more of the heritage town. fun um, free thing to do I didn't think it was gonna be free but it is so or if you find yourself in uh, you know Steveston come to the Steveston interurban tram station and check it out for yourself and go Travel with tats. Okay. Yeah. Tats. Tats. T-A-T-S. Like, what do you do oh. like you tattoos. Videos? It's like adventure stuff. Travel. Just oh. travel around, traveling around. Okay. 832 subscribers. 832 subscribers. Just that is that is me. Yeah, yeah. I live in a van and I'm traveling around. Oh, that's around. so cool. Yeah, but you get a mountain bike. Traveling with tats. Oh, yeah. <sighs> So after going to get food, I've just been walking around exploring all the fun shops from like, there's like gift shops and ice cream shops and candy shops and you just name it, they have it. It's like just candy and ice cream galore everywhere. I'm just gonna bite out you guys. With the walk and then the exploring and then the food, I was here for roughly three hours and I felt like I saw like a good portion of it and um, you know, so to allot yourself that amount of time if that's what you would like to do. This was such a fantastic day because I, I knew it was a cute little community but I just, I, I never thought to go and explore it until now and I am so thankful that I did and I highly recommend that you do too. It's like a fantastic little day trip here in Vancouver. <gasps> I had a lot more fun than I, you know, I even think I thought I would and, I'm, and again I'm so disappointed in myself for like not making the effort to come out here you know sooner so I think the message here is like go be a tourist in your own town go explore something new you know that silly little museum that you have in your town that only the tourists do go do it go do it because there's a good chance you're gonna have fun doing it just like I had fun you know making my way all the way out here to Steveston and just walking around even just by myself it was fantastic so I'm gonna leave you guys here and I'll see you guys next week bye Hello, 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 hello. I don't have to do this twice, right? Yes. Hello, hello, hello. Sound like, are you working? Hello, are you working? Hello. I'm gonna be so upset. I'm gonna be so upset if I go home and I upload the video and the sound is gonna be crap because that is something that I've been fighting every dang video. But I'm also not about to drop $300 on a new microphone, so I gotta make it work.